We've learned over the years that it's very, very difficult to predict, firstly, how the pilots will fly a track, um, but also things like how much G they're going to need to get around corners in varying wind conditions, which is a big issue. We've got a pretty sophisticated computer system which we can input example tracks, and then we can alter the wind conditions, we can fly at different speeds with different aircraft configurations to see what sort of G-loads the, the, the pilots will have to use to get around some of the corner. It's a crucial part because we don't have enough time to, to test and, and, uh, and try to, to fly all our prepared trajectories. Actually in my team the first proposal for a race line is created by my engineers because they uh, tell me exactly uh, the best, uh, fastest way through it and then I go over it and check if it's doable in reality with my experience. And I know exactly when I'm a little bit off or not. We collect the parameters from the airplane telemetry, combine it with the flight model and we make the simulation as realistic as is possible. Matt plots the line by hand first, because he's the pilot and he's got a really good feel how to fly the track already. So basically the starting point is actually Matt and then we fine tune it from that based upon the data that we have from the modeling on, on the airplane. All the data we use is our own data. So it's data that we've captured on board the aircraft, plug them into the computer to figure out exactly what is the ideal run for that, for that track. We know what the turn performance is of the aircraft and the radiuses, so we can predict exactly where the plane will be in space at any particular time. I just build up a track um, using those coordinates and then see if I can find the fastest way through and try and give Dad a really good idea of what he should aim for before he's even seen what the track is like. Yeah. So he inputs various angles through gates, distances from gates, etc. until eventually he can't make it, go, make it any faster. And then he puts that into a uh, visual image so I can um, get a mental picture of exactly what the perfect racing line looks like in 3D. And I rehearse that in my mind. Start comparing myself with myself, myself with others, and slowly, hopefully, get faster and faster. Of course, when I test the track, I fly the track, of course, but Martin is always better than me. The fly simulator is quite tricky, and uh, to be honest, uh, my engineers can do it better than me. I think in the future we will be uh, ready for overlaying it and then see for small details, but first I have to fly that accurate.